Hi everyone. Um, I bought some lavender incense. So I thought I'd have a go at making an incense tray. Now I've got this little trinket tray mould. With all my extra resin that I've got left over, I make things like beads. Well, this one hasn't got a hole in the bottom. So the actual incense sits quite happily inside it. So that's good. So that also means the hole won't get filled up when I put it in here. And I'm going to do it so it sits like that. So I will put a bit of UV resin in there to hold it there straight away to where I want it. And I'm going to use uh, Vista Cascade for Moat Resin. And I've got the Neon resin pro colors i got neon pink and purple um don't know if i've even used them to be quite honest i got the whole set set of them i think i used a couple of them but not sure um so that's what i'm going to be doing so i'm going to mix up i've got 40 grams in each of these and i have got resin left over because I don't think that's going to take 80 it's going to take more than that I think so I want to put oh it's got like a little stopper thing so that's going to be fun isn't it Ooh. powder everywhere let's remove that <laughs> oh, they don't uh, make that easy do they oh puff puff I suppose you could always take it off. I ain't got a pin on me though. Not handy. I wonder if that would work. Doubt it. It's probably too thin. Oh, probably too thin and weak. Yeah, too thin and weak. Just persevere, Sandra. My luck, it's going to be a little This resin's getting hot already because I've had it out for a different um, different uh, project. I think about me tweezers in the first place. Ooh. Ooh. It don't want to come out. Oh, oh, sh sugar. That was nearly, nearly a swear word. <laughs> oh, for fluck. What a mess. Always get that on my channel, don't you? Good old mess. Now this stuff is quite hard. Oh, this is getting really warm. I'm going to have to move my butt. It's quite hard actually to mix it in sometimes. That still looks quite clear, doesn't it? It's gonna have to do that one. All right. Let's put me little thing back on. Till next time I decide to make them. Look at the state of me. God. Can't take me anywhere. <laughs> I think that made my, my top worse. <laughs> Never mind. I'll sort it in a minute. <laughs> Maybe 
tweezers off because they've got all the purple on. And do the pink. God, it sounds like my old bones. Yes! Look at that. Oh, that's a lovely colour, isn't it? see bits in it so you can see it's not mixed in properly oopsie panicking because it's getting very warm Okay, so what I want to do is give that another stir. Oh, there's loads of bits and pieces in there I can see. <coughs> How annoying. Hopefully it stays at the bottom and I won't get them in my bits, in my resin, in my project. Okay. So what I want to do is, <coughs> oh I was going to do that first, wasn't I? Can if I've got enough UV, I'll just use the load of it. Okay, so put that on there. There. And let's put that in to hold it up. Holding up so it doesn't fall and I'll bring that over. Oops, give that a quick blast. Right, neon pink's, pink's really shiny. I don't know if you can see it. A bit more than that. Okay, I think that's about enough. Let's take that out of the way. Okay, so I am going to just put some of that in and then some of that in. As you can see, oops, I'm blind, <laughs> but as you can see, there are 
bits in there as well. Got more than I need. Only problem with resin, it can mix together. And I'm hoping it's not going to do that too much. Okay, so I don't really want to fill that right up. I only really want it to go that far. So I'm going to leave it exactly where it is. Spritz it. Hopefully that's uh, enough. And... Hopefully, oh, you can see, thank God. <laughs> I just realised how close I put it to the edge and I'm like, oh, Sarge, you've done it again. You've moved it. Right, hopefully, oh, I can't move that. That's got to stay there. That will um, come together nicely. Let's put in there. And that will be my lavender incense tray. Hmm. Quite happy with that. Right, I've got to find something quickly for these. Um, bum, 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 bum. This is something else that I was... Uh... This come from China. It took a month of Sundays to turn up. So this is... Um, tea light holder so I'm just gonna go straight down the middle probably no my luck still haven't put too much of it You're getting two for the price of one. Yep, that's full up. Oh, I've still got a bit left and I've got some left in there at all. Oh, blimey. Not prepared for this. Just grabbed my heart I'll okay, clean that out where's me the tape quick clean out I didn't spray that other one never mind I ain't got really time See, look, this is what I'm saying about you. If you haven't stirred it properly, it gets all big bits in the bottom, which is annoying. But it's um, it's not a mica; it's a pigment, so it's just colours basically the resin. It does; it's not like the mica powders. So let's see what I can do with this little bit. Let me do anything. Just meet up then.
and then this one I just go blop and I might no I won't just see what happens uh, I'm I know this would probably move on its own, but I'm just going to make a pattern with it because I don't know if it will. Because it's a pigment and it's not a mica, don't know what will happen. see what happens that was just a just an extra as you know now I am touching the bottom of the mold but I'm doing it with a silicon stick so it's not going to scratch my mold see they've all molded straight in look that's a shame Never mind. But yeah, so that's that one. A little spritz of them all. And that's it. That's. Oh, come here, you little monkey. Thank you. That's it. It's all done. Just got to wait for it all to cure now. Oh, I've got bits in it already. Oh, I've just put a hair in it. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Absolute nightmare. Don't want to mess around with it too much because it's just going to mess it all up. That would do. It's going to be mine anyway. So, there you go. That will need a top coat if I'm going to put, do it. But, oh, my hands are sweaty. It's so very, very hot here at the moment. But, never mind. We complain about the sun, we complain about the rain. So I'm just going to turn these upside down and let these run out and I shall clean them all off later when it's uh, a bit cooler. So anyway, I shall speak to you later. See you soon. Hi everyone, these are all nice and dry. A bit of spillage there but that's just normal with me. Excuse me. Okay, so this is the one that I was going to use for my um, um, incense. Now, normally, you turn it over and you'd use this bit as the tray, but I've left it that way. It's got a lip, which little bit sharp so that will get filed down maybe slightly as I said this is going to be for me so that was sitting there 
And you've got a little incense tray. I think that's quite cute. <laughs> so that's that one. Then there's this one. This is the uh, candle. Candle holder. Got a feeling this had um, marks on it. So I, had, I might have to, yeah. So what I shall do is I'm going to knock up a little tiny bit of resin and then put it in a bottle and just very, or somehow very gently bring that in there. And I think I'll do that in silver. Let me, let's do it in view V, if I can. View V. Not going to do it with. Um, oh, God's sake. Sorry, I can't think today. Resin, uh, with pigments, I'm going to do it with glitter. So I need, where's my little pot? There's my little pot. I don't know if this will work at all. Don't even know if I've got enough UV to be quite honest. And what I will do when this is cured, wrong blade. There you can see what my brain's like. Um, what I will do is when it's cured, I've cured it up, I'll put a very thin layer of um, UV resin. I don't know if this is going to work. Probably got too much silver here. Never mind, I'll use it for something else. It's over flooding. It's not supposed to work for flood. Sorry, is my head in the way? I don't know if my head's in the way or not. Let's clear it a little bit. doesn't go on very easy like this it's easier if I was putting acrylic in and I was doing it in a little bottle but me being me I like to try and do something different and I thought this would be pretty yeah, you can see where the UV is <laughs> I've got way way too much here It 
you've all enjoyed your the hot weather. I've um, not been working. Um, so I've been been lucky in one respect that I haven't had to to um, experience the heat at work. I feel sorry for the girls that are at work. I've uh, been signed off by the docks. I've got chicken, adult chicken box, good old shingles and my god it's painful. It is painful. I've not been able to do anything for over a week. This is my first attempt of doing anything since I was diagnosed with it. Uh, hopefully it will go soon because I tell you I've had enough of waking up in the middle of the night and having to come down for painkillers. And in this heat it's not nice. Okay, so I shall move that to one side and I shall get my UV lamp and I shall give it a quick blast. Sorry, I'm going to cover it up. So whilst that's covered up, we've got this one. Not quite full up. not quite full up so what I might do be back in a minute okay with this one I'm going to put a couple of tattoos on it so I'm just gonna take the film off always always remember to take the film off believe me I've done it in the past I forgot I've done it and the actual tattoo is stuck to the film and I cannot get it off for the life of me. So I want that right about there. And then this little one. Around about uh, there I think. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to Give it a squirt with this. Doesn't matter, it's it's alcohol, it will evaporate. And it will sink in. And it should start moving. Sorry. Be back in a minute. Okay, sorry. Right, okay, so this is all done. Take that out of the way. Turn it off. So that should be all nice and cured. Yep. So that is just going to have another coat, small coat of resin over the top, and then that will be finished. Now this one, I'm thinking about maybe putting, because it's for me, I'm thinking about maybe putting uh, 
tattoo on there as well. But I don't know. I think about a rose. Let me have my roses back. I'm going to need my roses. There. Too small. Too big. <laughs> it would cut show up wouldn't it be better than oh that one oh, I like that one I love that one I do like my roses my garden's full of them I love that one I do apologize if something keeps it, um, interrupting the recordings my daughter keeps texting me and as I'm using my phone I'm afraid um, I can't stop her. <laughs> right, back in a minute. Okay, I'm back. I'm gonna take that out. Gonna take the transfer tape paper off, stuff off, whatever you want to call this stuff. your fingers all the time right okay so I'm gonna have that out there I'll give that up and rub it over it okay now this one should hopefully it hasn't <laughs> hasn't transferred over. No, nope, nor's that one. Hmm. How annoying. Might have to get some water on it after all. No, I'm not touching that. That's stuck. <laughs> no, that's not coming off. Okay. I'm going to go and get myself some water. I'll be back in a minute. Okay, right. I'm soaking it. But whatever you do, if you're doing this, please, please, please remember to dry your piece off. If you don't dry your piece off and you put resin on top, the resin will not like it at all. It will just get rid of it. And then you would have wasted all your time and effort and money. And your poor bit of work. Okay, this one looks like it's ready. As I've just moved it yep that one's done doesn't show up very well but it's there it looks cool i like it i like it it's got to dry off there's a few bubbles in it for some reason give it a pat down with that but these, for some... Ah, there you go. Just didn't leave it long in... Oh, that's ruined. It's half a bit missing. And this one. Is this one going to be ruined as well? Mm, a little bit. That's fine. I should just rub that off. That's it. You can't see that bit, so that's fine. Mm, no, that looks okay, I think. I'm happy with that. So I've got these dry. And then I will pour a thin layer on them all. And then they will be done. They will be finished. So once that goes in there... And 
And these ones I thought are lavender. Don't know why you need to know that, but I thought I'd tell you. That's a lavender one. And believe me, even though they're in the box, I can smell them when I'm walking past. So I think they're going to be quite smelly. <laughs> but there you go. I will show you once I've coated them and they are complete but I think that I think they're just really cute um, have I got a two sets okay. oh, that one can't oh yes it will it's just not turned on there you go there you go Look, that will sit in there like that. I wouldn't put a normal flame in there because for the simple fact it will end up melting all this. And that's what you don't want. Put a little tea light, maybe like a little fancy tea light case or something in there. Look quite sweet, I think. There you go. Right, I'm going to dry them and I'm going to just give them a top up. And they will be done and I'll see you later. Bye bye. Hi, these are all dry now. So that's, even though it's meant to go that way as a trinket tray, I've got it that way because I've put a, a ball in there for my um, incense. Oh, excuse me, incense. So that's finished. That's ready to go. That's all dry, ready to go. And that's all dry. And I'm going to take it out. There you go. Lovely little um, coaster. Flowers. Uh, sorry, with. Um, oh my god, my brain. With feathers. There you go. All done. Happy as Larry. I like that actually. I think that's quite sweet. Shame that one didn't come out very well. Doesn't matter. That one has. And that will probably go on my bedside table or my computer table or something. And that will probably go somewhere. I don't know. I might keep them. Might try to sell it. Oh, no, I'll be keeping that one because I just stuck my nail in it. Mind you, I think, don't think you can see it. Anyway, thank you for watching. As always, please subscribe, hit the notification bell, and give me a thumbs up, please, 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 because I'm enjoying doing this, I really am, and I like the fact that I'm, you know, other people are enjoying what I'm doing, so thank you for watching, thank you for subscribing, and I shall see you soon, ta-da!